Hello there, my name is Jim Pashi and I'm the newest member of the Indie Hub team. Besides being on the weekly Sunday podcast, I'm also going to talk to you once in a while about some of my hidden gems. What are those? Well, they're some of my favorite games of all time that just don't quite get the recognition that they deserve. My role here is to shed a light on really amazing pieces of work that aren't as talked about as they should be. So, without further ado, let's talk about the very first hidden gem, the one that really made me want to create this segment to begin with. Let's talk about the magic circle. The Magic Circle is a 2015 video game developed and published by Question, an indie team composed by Steven Alexander, Kane Shin, and Jordan Thomas. Those three little buddies have been involved in some other small projects like Bioshock and Dishonored, so you can see the talent is there. And the Magic Circle really is the work of great talent, although it was covered by a couple of YouTubers that never really made a lasting impression on the public, which is a shame because it's hands down one of the best satires of the gaming industry that has ever been done. In the Magic Circle, we take control of a playtester who was recently hired to help prepare the live demo for a game that has been in development hell for nearly 20 years. And yes, it's called the Magic Circle, how did you guess? The two main developers of the game, the creator of the original, and his biggest fan who has become part of the creative team of the sequel, have entered into a bitter feud over the course of the game. Soon you realize that the Magic Circle is not much besides vaporware, and not nearly close to a finished product, let alone a demo. After the two developers leave the playtester alone, an old AI that is literally a magic talking circle, points for subtlety there, requests the player's help. The AI hacks into the game and gives you the power to alter all of its elements. The goal here is simple. You use the leftover assets and NPCs to hack your way into releasing the magic circle once and for all. Now, I think I don't need to tell you that this has a lot of meta commentary. In fact, that is the best part of the game. The plot goes above and beyond in terms of satire, nothing gets a free pass. Developers, greedy production companies, toxic fans, desperate streamers, and pretty much anything that has ever touched video games in its life gets mocked in a very, very unique way. A fundamental aspect of any satire is to make you laugh at the same time you realize everything about it is absolutely true. The Magic Circle does exactly that. The game was released in 2015, but the comedy is still fresh and accurate in 2020. In terms of gameplay, you can expect a decent amount of challenging puzzles. As I've said, you take control of the game's assets. Basically, you can gain different types of powers and then apply them to the various objects you interact with. You can make things sentient or brain dead. You can make them fly or protect you. Pretty much, you are programming the game to help you get through it. It is a concept that works like fine wine and it doesn't overstay its welcome. There is also a bunch of collectibles to find. They range from humorous jokes about video games to actual lore of the Magic Circle and the history of its 20 year development. If this was it, the Magic Circle would be an overall short but sweet experience. However, it has one last thing to give you, the cherry on top of a most delicious cake. After you complete the main game, it's time for you to create one. That's right, using the very assets that you were programming before, you can design a game level. The AI will give you its honest assessment, and if you can put out a good product, you will launch the very first episode of your creation and beat the magic circle for good. After that, you can go both back to the game world to grab the collectibles you've left behind or redesign the game level as many times as you like it. It doesn't have too much replay value, but it's there if you want to mess around with it a bit more. That's what the Magic Circle is all about, messing around with video games. Clearly made by people who love the industry they are a part of, but still feel the frustrations that it creates, the folks of Question deserve all the praise in the world for their game. It is a cutting and precise parody that also works as a fun puzzle game. Every character has personality for days and the concepts are all executed in the best way possible. 
one of the most unique indie games out there and a hidden gem you should, without a doubt, check out. The Magic Circle is available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to catch more Indie Hub content. Don't forget to check out our weekly Sunday live streams. I've been Shimpashi and I hope to see you next time. Happy gaming!